Hey guys, this is Siddharth from That's It Comics and today we are going to talk about Comixology, the why and the how. So Comixology is a subsidiary of Amazon.com where you have a lot of comics that are available digitally from various publishers starting from DC Comics, Marvel, Image and a lot of independent publishers also showcase their titles at Comixology. Now, especially if you are in a country where physical access to comic books is an issue, Comixology is perhaps the way to go. Now, let's divide this video into two sections. Let's first talk about the how. So, it's really easy to read and buy comics on Comixology. In fact, if you are in India and if you have an Amazon.in account already, you don't even need to sign up for a separate Comixology account. You can use the same login credentials and get logged in to the Comixology website. Now that's the first step. You need to have either a separate Comixology account or you can use your Amazon.com.ca.in login credentials and get access to the Comixology website. Now step number two is perhaps a little more specific to the folks in India but you need to have international transactions enabled on your debit card or your credit card. That is very important. This is not going to work out otherwise. And step number three is not really a mandatory step, but if you have a tablet, trust me, the reading experience is just going to be of another level. Now that we've talked about the how, let's talk about the why. Digital comics are perhaps the biggest thing that has happened to the comic book industry in the last 10 years and Comixology has been on the forefront of these changes. Now, I'm pretty sure you can see a lot of shelf space that's been occupied by a lot of books that's right behind me. Now, while I love this, I need to acknowledge the fact that this is limited. Now, I do acknowledge that this is a very tiny sort of uh, an advantage that Comixology will provide you, but or the concept of digital comics will provide you, but then it, it is still something that you need to consider physical space is limited and uh, you know you can always have that cloud somewhere up in there which stores all of your comics and you don't have to like keep track of you know what's collecting dust where now that was a small advantage i acknowledge that but let's get to a bigger advantage the price now a lot of digital comics are available at dirt cheap prices for uh, long durations of time now it's not something like you need to go on flipkart or amazon or any of these online retailers and you need to like keep hitting refresh and you need to have like those eagle eyes on the products that you want on the books that you've been always wanting to buy or like say something like the absolute long halloween i had to like keep i had to stay up all night not all night but yeah i slept late that night and i had to monitor the prices of, of all of the absolute editions and I saw this one was available for cheap and I snapped it out right that doesn't happen on Comixology as far as I know there's plenty of time to know about the offers and to make your decision and to pull the trigger on the books that you might want to read now that's always a good thing so comfort and peace of mind are always going to be on your side and not to mention the discounts are really awesome like there are about 50 to 60 percent of discounts that you can expect on a regular basis so that's just more power to us right so comicsology is a very very nice way of trying out some of the comics before you decide to buy uh, the physical copies like for example the planetary omnibus now if you're someone who's on the fence about whether or not to buy this omnibus you're wondering whether or not i should pull the trigger on this you might want to check out comicsology they have hosted the first issue of planetary for free you can read the entire issue for free and then decide whether or not you want to buy the omnibus now if you're someone who's like deeply into digital comics i'm pretty sure you can even appreciate the fact that say uh, let's just say that the planetary omnibus is really good for it from issues 1 through 14 and after that it just starts going downhill now if you've been reading this digitally right you you'll go from issue to issue and what happens is while doing that you are in control of how much of that series you want to consume if you feel like the the series is not something that you would want to continue with you can drop that series off and 
you will end up spending less than you would have spent on the omnibus you still don't have that much of uh, shelf space that is consumed by a physical book and then again you don't have to worry about getting rid of it or like trying to spin it off in some of some way shape or form so comicsology wins there again and one of the beauties of comicsology is their guided view technology now let me show you what i mean by that have a look at this this is the first frame of that panel and when i when i do this it's gone to the logically second thing that i should read on that page and when you keep doing that again that's the third thing that you should be reading and uh, i've set the yeah so this is the entire page as you can see but you're supposed to read this bit first then this one then this and then the last bit that's here and comicsology has this incredibly awesome algorithm uh, through which they've done this for each and every single comic that they have hosted uh, on their site so this is awesome for someone like me who just wants to scan through the entire page see what's there at the end and then you know take a step back and keep reading every frame uh, at one at a time so again comicsology wins there too also if you are someone who's like in a country like india where you know comics are not that big a thing right now uh, but you know there are people like me who love reading comics so if you are someone like me and you are you are dying to read the dark knight 3 master race what do you do you can't get it from anyone you don't have friends who are flying back from the states who will carry that book maybe you'll get you know all crumpled up in their luggage anyway so what do you do what you going to do comicsology to the rescue and i think it is released on the same day that it, it is available in retail stores outside so it's not like you're going to be behind uh of the world when it comes to reading these things you'll still be quite up to date but yes there are other cop there are other series like suppose the batman series uh that gets a digital release a week after uh it's uh, it's actual release so I I I think I can still wait for a week uh, on titles like that but something like the Dark Knight 3 I am not going to wait I want to read every single issue of it right when it comes out so that's it folks like I I hope this uh, video has uh, helped you uh, and educated you as far as what comicsology is uh, and uh, I know it's a little haphazard I just I just felt like making a video today and I just set my tripod up I'm sitting down actually uh i just felt like you uh, winging it this way i want to cover i'm not really sure if you can see this but i want to cover these three titles uh these three volumes i'm sorry uh in separate videos i made a video for this but then it was too long and it was taking a lot of time to edit it so i was like you know what i'm not going to do that i'm going to go back to the review board and i'm going to show you more of the book and less of this so that you know you can enjoy uh watching these videos a little more So definitely you can expect mind management to be reviewed on this channel sometime soon. I will also be doing a Daredevil omnibus review and the essential review uh of um not the essential review the review of the essential Daredevil volume 1. So that was it for this video. I will see you again next time till then. Goodbye folks.